Hi friends, this is your prophet, Prophet Great. Please, today is your very first time of watching our channel. We celebrate you greatly. I will urge you that you subscribe, you like, and you share, and drop your comments. God bless you. Today, we are looking at four ways to tap into an anointing. Praise God. Now, what does it mean for you to tap into an anointing you desire? Praise God. Now, you must understand that anointing dwells in human vessels. Human vessels are the carriers of the anointing. Anointing is not in angels. Anointing is in the human vessels that are alive on the earth. Praise God. And so for you to tap into the anointing that they carry or that individual carries, what must you do? Number one, you must love that individual. You must love the vessel. You must respect the vessel. Any one you despise, you can never manifest his anointing. You can never contact his anointing. Speaking about Jesus, the major prophet of all prophets, the Bible speaking about him, he said he was anointed without major. But the Bible says he came to his own town, his own town called Nazareth. He could not do mighty miracles. Why? The people looked down on him. The people castigated him. The people speak bad of him. And so, what they spoke against him short circuit the supernatural power of God, which is the anointing inside him, not be effective. Praise God. So, you must honor the vessel, the career of that anointing. And then, that will open the door for you to tap into what that individual carries. That's number one. Number two, don't criticize the anointing you desire. What you fight, you can never embrace. What you fight, you can never contact. What you fight runs away from you. So don't see someone manifesting an anointing you love, you desire, and then you castigate it, you criticize it, you insult it, you call it names, and then you still want it. You will never manifest it. You will never contact it. Praise God. So you love it, you desire it, and then you appreciate it, you praise it, you magnify it, you contact it. Number three ways to tap into anointing is to serve the anointed. We saw where Elisha served Elijah. And the Bible said the double portion of Elijah rested upon Elisha because he served Elisha faithfully. Praise God. So you desire an anointing in the life of a man of God. Listen to me, you must serve the career of that anointing. We also saw in the life of Joshua, Joshua served Moses. And we saw what happened, how God instructed Moses to lay his hands upon him and transfer what he carried upon Joshua. Praise God. We saw the disciples, they served Jesus and they carried the anointing of Jesus Christ. Praise God. So every anointing that you desire, you love, you must serve that anointing in order to contact it. Praise God. To tap into an anointing you desire is for you to sow into that anointing. We saw in the life of the widow of Zarephath. The Bible said the little she had about to eat and die. She sowed it into the life of Elijah. And we saw that there was a multiplication. There was abundance. Praise God. We also saw in the life of the Shunammite woman. The Bible says she had no child. She was so wealthy, but she had no child. And then she saw into the life of Elisha. And the Bible said there was a strange manifestation of God's glory upon her life. The child came. Praise God. And so you desire an anointing. You sow into that anointing. You sow heavily into that anointing. And then when you sow, you connect it with ease. Praise God. Because the Bible says, the earth remains the seed time and harvest shall not cease. So when you sow, you must contact it. Praise God. I pray for you. The Lord give you grace and wisdom to tap into the anointing you desire. Whether it's a prophetic anointing, whether it's a deliverance anointing, whether it's anointing for strength manifestation, in Jesus' name. Shalom. God bless you.